Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, but I wanted to talk about the Texas Gun Vault 1, or just the Texas Gun Vault. I hit 40,000 subscribers today. I know, 40,000 subscribers, unbelievable. Uh, I'm humbled, uh, I feel unworthy, I'm just a little channel, I'm not a competitive shooter, I'm not a uh, you know, gun store owner. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm not in the firearms world and I'm not trying to do this as some type of job. You know, there's some people that YouTube is their full life. That is it. Constantly creating content. Um, they do it for entertainment purposes and that kind of stuff. I, I just do it because I like to make content and talk about guns. And for someone like myself, that's extremely introverted. Uh, I could spend hours out here in, in the garage and not see anybody else. Well, with the exception of my wife, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really necessarily seek the attention. And uh, so, so to get 40,000 subscribers is huge for me. Um, I'm not trying to compete with anybody. I'm not trying to necessarily set any goals or have any expectations. Um, it's just chugging along. And uh, I'm humbled and honored that uh, 40,000 people uh, have subscribed to my channel. Yeah, that, that's uh, pretty amazing and pretty cool. But anyway, I'm setting up for the Texas Gun Vault poll question of the week here on this kind of chilly Sunday afternoon. Not really. Um, I was actually up on top of the house today uh, working on my VHF, UHF antenna for my amateur radio stuff because the mount was a little bit crooked when I had the people install it. So I had to create like a little shim to make the antenna perfectly vertical. So I was up there and the wind was blowing. It was a little bit chilly. That's not too bad. Sun was out. But uh, anyway, don't want to bore you guys with that stuff. Uh, I wanted to send a little shout out to my friend Jack again. You guys know he lends a lot of guns to the channel. I was over at his place dropping off some guns that I have reviewed and picked up some magazines for a gun I'm going to review. And uh, anyway, he had a little bit of swag for me. Just, I'm not really sure where he got it, but you guys know I like to collect uh, patches and stickers and stuff. Um, the patches I like to put in my gun safe on the side. So he got me a really nice one, a Glock. Yeah, a Glock Gen 5 since 1986, even though the company's been around for a lot longer than that. But it says two, uh, 2017, I guess, is when the Gen 5 came out. Really? Am I that old? Oh my gosh. I thought that thing just, just came out recently. But anyway, yeah, 86, 2017. So that's going to go in the in the safe. That's pretty cool. Um, gave me a sticker. I know this is not going to come across here. I'm going to put this on the safe. I collect stickers as well. This is We the People Holsters. It's a white uh, sticker on a white background, so you can't see it. But that's going to go on the safe. And uh, he also gave me some pins. So, like hat pins and things. So I got a Glock uh, Gen 5. And I think one that says 19X, which actually is my favorite Glock. So I have one of those as well. He gave me two of those each. So I'm not really sure where he got Maybe there's some type of promotional stuff at one of the gun stores he, he goes to. But anyway, I love these uh, PVC patches. Uh, I just like put them in the safe. I got like the whole wall of, uh, in there. So every time I, I open it up, I, I get to see if I got stickers on the outside and patches on the inside. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, thanks, Jack. Going to give you another, another little shout out there. But anyway, thank you all for being part of this journey that I am on here at the Texas Gun Vault. Uh, to hit 40,000 is amazing. I remember where I was when I hit 10,000 subscribers. I was at a little restaurant over in Fort Worth after going to the Fort Worth Gun Show with my family. And we were sitting down at a place called Mercado Juarez. And it's having dinner, and I hit 10,000 subscribers. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. And uh, here we are at 40,000. So I guess the next milestone is 50,000. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, I'm blessed beyond my wildest dreams. Uh, I don't know what I did to deserve this amazing and wonderful life and uh, the support of all of you. So thank you for, for being here. Um, yeah, thank you for everybody that has been a part of the Texas Gun Vault, people that... Um, have come into the channel, you know, interacted with me, and then just kind of disappeared, you know. It's the way it goes. It's kind of weird. When I first started off as the Texas Gun Vault, there were uh, people that got to know me that I might meet at a gun show or we would, you know, uh, meet up at a gun show, you know, and they were local, uh, local subscribers. And uh, maybe they had a, a, a channel themselves. You know, we were all small. 
you know, a couple hundred uh, sub uh, subscribers and things. And then, for whatever reason, they just kind of drop off the face of the earth. And then there's other people that started up channels and then they went away. Or maybe they got disinterested. I don't know. Or life conditions changed. There was, a, but there's been a couple of people that um, have been subscribers to my channel that I know that have passed away um, over the years. I know that there's been people that I have met that have lent me guns um, that all of a sudden just disappear. I don't know. They just never contact me again. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I make them mad or whatever, but they just kind of maybe move on in their life or move out of town or something of that nature. Um, and there's people that come in and join the Texas Gun Vault family. Uh, there's some people that are just what I call lurkers, people that have maybe never commented on a video. Uh, but, you know, uh, like and subscribe my, uh, to all the videos that I make. There's people that interact with every single video, and that kind of changes over time. You know, I know who my usuals are. You know, whenever I post a video, there are the, you know, the same people that comment on every video, and that's awesome. And then there's other people that I'll get an email from from time to time. Hey, longtime subscriber. I, I don't know who they are because they never comment. And people that have, and I've mentioned this in the past, that watch my channel uh, from the presidents and founders of firearms companies very famous firearms companies, to people that have been high-ranking government officials, to um, uh, politicians, you know. Um, it's kind of it's kind of crazy because um, I'm just a nobody, you know. Uh, I guess sometimes because I put out content and I put my face out there and I create the content, people have a uh, misconception of what this is about. I think that because so much stuff in or on YouTube has become so commercialized where it used to be just independent content creators that would make a video or a tutorial on how to do something. Uh, that's what it started out as and what I call the wild west of YouTube to where now you have companies that thrive on YouTube. That That's their primary source. They make high quality uh, videos that are not just with fire, but with everything from music videos to how-to videos to documentaries that um, it's just how they get published. And so they make extremely high quality content with humongous budgets. And, you know, the smaller competitors and the smaller channels like myself just cannot compete with that. And uh, so, so, so YouTube has changed what it was to what it is now. And I think that sometimes when people find my channel, they don't understand what this is. You know, I'll get a comment about the quality or comparing me to another channel. And uh, I, I'm not the other channel. I'm just me. It's literally, I am a one-man show right now. Um, it's me out here in the garage with my camera, which, by the way, another great supporter of the channel, The Doctor, bought that for me. I had another subscriber, uh, and his wife donated all of my audio equipment at some point. I think they just told me that, uh, uh, in fact, I have, I have a sticker from them up on my uh, workbench here. Um, but they're like, we don't use this and you, and you probably could. And they sent it to me. It was an amazing uh, gift. Um, that's just the way that the channel has been. And I don't know. It's just been an amazing journey. It's been an amazing ride to think I'm at 40,000 subscribers is just humbling. But yeah, people, as I said, misconstrue what I'm doing here. They think I'm trying to be famous or trying to do something that I'm not. I'm just some guy who just makes content because he likes to. That's it. But anyway, thanks for being here on this ride. we got a long way to go. Uh, 40,000 subscribers. So uh, next uh, milestone, I guess, is 50. Then maybe 75. Then maybe 100. But uh, who knows? I have no plans to you know try to get the most subscribers or anything. I'll just keep doing what I do. My, my content will evolve over time. And uh, hopefully people will stick with me and join. So if you've been a longtime subscriber to the Texas Gun Vault, or even remember the days of the Fort Worth Colt guy, thank you so much. If you're somebody that's just a lurker to my channel, thank you. <clears throat> somebody that just likes to watch my, my content and may not interact with me. Uh, to all the people that have lent firearms for me to review, thank you, thank you so much. For all the companies that have sent me products, for all the FFLs that have let me borrow guns, um, to all of the people in the firearms industry from gun writers, um, like uh, John Petrolino, um, who have contacted me and interviewed me for articles. Uh, that's humbling. 
it's it's amazing. Yeah. And now even um, a friend of mine that just bought Guns America so um, and likes my content. It's just a humbling experience for being a nobody, you know, for being a nobody. It's pretty awesome, pretty amazing, and uh, it's a great ride. It's a great ride. So here's to many more, and let's just keep the content going. Let's keep the conversation going, and let's keep the Second Amendment in the forefront of people's minds in a positive and responsible way. So there you go. So let me know what you think. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, everybody. That is a subscriber at the Texas Gun Vault, 40,000. All right, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.